Welcome back to Diesel Creek. My name's Matt. We are loaded up in the old pickup truck and we are southbound and down heading to Kentucky. We're heading down here hopefully to meet a few of you guys that are coming out to the Utility Equipment Expo that we are doing with Volvo. Going to meet up with a bunch of other YouTubers down here. We got Mike from Dirt Perfect, Let's Dig 18, Clint from CNC Equipment. I believe Andrew Camerata is coming down here. And uh, I think a few others that I'm forgetting off the top of my head. Apologies to you guys right now. Gonna get to check out a lot of new equipment down here. I'm actually in the market for a Mini X. So this is the place to come if you wanna check out one of those. I do believe that you get to you get to demo them and try them out. I was down here two years ago with the same gang and uh, it was a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to it. I'll see you when we get there. Good morning, Louisville. Well, I'm just now leaving the hotel. We are heading down to the expo. This should be a lot of fun. Well, we're sitting in line here for the expo. I intended to get up a little bit earlier. My phone alarm went off at six and I thought, oh, I can sleep a little bit longer. I thought I had another one set for seven and it never went off. So apparently I didn't have it set and it's 8.01 at the moment. And this is what the traffic's like. And I don't think the show even opens till nine, technically. We made her. I'll tell you what a company that really impresses me that I didn't have any clue was as big as they are apparently is Ditch Witch. Because when we were here two years ago, the Ditch Witch booth was probably the biggest booth. And they just have way more equipment than I ever thought that they produced. Look at all these different mini skids they have. And then that thing's cool. I'll try to get some video of that thing running. It's a it's a trencher that they hopped up. It's got a big V8 in it. It does like wheelies and stuff, but I believe it still trenches too, which is impressive. John Deere's got some cool stuff to play with too. I think that's the biggest excavator here that you can demo that I've seen so far. I got to use that 330G, 333G last show and uh, use that dozer blade on the front. And I won't say that I'm a Deere fan, but the way they have their dozer configured with their track loader is really nice. Even more Deere stuff over here to play with. Now that could be a nice size machine to have a 60. Starting to see more and more of those. Look at that guy. That guy's famous. You wanna know how much it costs to get money? Wait, wait, we had a little bit of this in the years. I really am not the best timekeeper. Well that's comforting. Don't worry, point. she's adding your time to mine. <laughs> You're doing great. It's fine, don't we'll, worry. We'll have to do some simple math. <laughs> well, the cup got my favor, I'm all for it. I'm pretty sure you lost last time, right, Mike? So Due to the power of editing. The power of editing can fix this. He's already much faster than you. I'm quite aware. He's I, a lot was, faster It than is you. hard to see, I'm not going to lie. Well, just wait till the next one. You're almost there. Hey, sit it I down, you got it. <laughs> you got it, just right down. <laughs> Two more inches. Three feet. To the left. <laughs> Put it in reverse now. 
You got it. Go ahead and back up. Go ahead and back up. You got this. I take it back. He's not faster than you. See, yeah. Yeah, just shake it. <laughs> yeah, it'll probably, it knows where it needs to go. Yeah, keep trying. Swap you are with, really close. Swap it with You're your left four. Yeah. A little okay. bit more. Well, look how much more even mine are. Yeah, well, I had character. Character count. Okay, well, you lost. 139 versus 136. Mine are perfect. His is what's just He had style. I had style. Over here at the Hyundai booth checking out this 85. This is, I'm torn between getting another machine this size, which is the size of my Komatsu currently. They're about the same class. I'm torn between getting this or like a 55, so like a 10 ton model. Okay, so we're 4K 30 HDR. That's how we should be, probably. Just dig as deep as you can. Dig as deep as what? Just deep, dig as deep as it will. I got yelled at for that last time. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if you, like at my house, you never could. You'd hit bedrock yeah, already. Yeah, it's like down here. Well, we could find out. I imagine we're, yeah, we're hitting shale already. That ain't shale. What do you mean shale? Come on, that's, that's like... That's like Dude, if you had this dirt where I live, that's like topsoil, thirty dollars a yard. <laughs> yeah, we're getting the shell. That's hard for my place. All right, let's see how deep it digs. <laughs> it's like a really dangerous hole. Yeah, there's probably some piping coming in. Right? Oh, that would be a great video. Yeah, they locate everything before the show. Do they? <laughs> I see some uh, spray paint here. <laughs> some blue spray paint. Better than red or yellow. We gotta dig to China right now. I like how it's kind of organized. Get all the red dirt on one side of the other. <laughs> nice turn right there. Alright, he's going. He's going. Now put your dozer blade down. Like all the way. Oh, I think so. There you go. Oh, man. That's an extra <laughs> Look at that. Dude, you could never dig a hole like that where we live. Oh, because you had you hit, you six hit. inches hit rock? Yes. Unless you're blast. Oh. Unless you're blasting. You got, a, you got a hammer or blast? Oh, no. Did it die? Uh, yeah, a little, you lose a little bit on the stability side. Okay. You can track Not closer. Bad. Oh yeah. 
he never filled it in. <laughs> yep. Yeah, uh, you did, yeah, so you're here? Yeah, I can't yeah. see anything anymore. Oh, you hear just somebody? Keep randomly uh, digging. No, yeah, it's this kid. He was probably don't like, stop, just dig. Here, push push the blade down. Maybe twenty-one. Hey, maybe. Push the blade down. Oh, you hear Get somebody yelling, "Help!" help. No. <laughs> but he was here. He spent like the whole, the whole like three days. He was just here hanging out, like just, digging shit. Just digging. Did, hey, did he buy anything? No. <laughs> that's great. I mean, that's pretty deep hole. Yeah. I mean, you fell in there. You're gonna be in there. Oh fuck, dude. Yeah. Scoop me out. Hey, Matt. <laughs> Doing great. trailer here like this fall and just come back it's gonna be like sunk to the fuel tank that dirt's not gonna fit back oh there's a lot of, there's gonna oh, be a no. lot of landmines around here you gotta tamp it every six inches This is interesting. This is a completely electric Volvo here. I knew they had this at Con Expo, but I never got a chance to really look at it up close. I wouldn't mind giving it a go, just seeing what that feels like in a big machine. I've ran their Mini last year, and actually the electric power, while I don't think it's you know the greatest thing for everybody, I think the select people that need electric machines would really like that machine, because it was very, very strong compared to what uh, a diesel powered mini would feel like in my experience anyways this will be cool that thing's pretty sweet she is rigged up forestry work is tough on machines Thing's pretty sweet. That's a vibro plow, so you put like a big spool, spool of cable or hose up there. It spools around the tractor and goes down through the vibrating plow, pushes it right into the ground. Now that, that is a trencher. I could have used that on my electric job. Shoo, buddy. Looks like it cuts like a 12 or 18 inch ditch. That thing is serious. Probably cut it straight through bedrock too. Big rock wheel. Whew. It's a bad day if you need one of those things. There's a shoring box like I've never seen. That's a pretty wild system. Looks like it would be good for stacking boxes though. That'd be pretty handy. That's about the size of a truck that I would want. I guess this is like a 9 or 10 ton truck. Oh, 9, 12, maybe it's a 12 ton. But I like the rotating bed.
they're importing them now. They can't get rid of you, bud. 1776, they were chucking them out. Now they're importing them. <laughs> this place is nuts. That's impressive. That thing would make servicing machines pretty easy. I could use one of them. Twenty thousand pounds on a chassis this size is pretty impressive. Check out this bad boy. Primitive forestry mulcher, articulated with these rubber tracks. I've never seen rubber tracks that aggressive. That is something. Wowzers! I bet you this thing goes just about anywhere. <laughs> that thing is cool. Muck says there's more bucket trucks and crane trucks here than in the entirety of the UK. <laughs> Beautiful service truck here with a brand new body on it by the looks of it. That is cool. Now that is a bumper. Holy crap. Look at that. See that, Aaron? That's a full bucket, bud. That's what that looks like. Oh, that's a full bucket? That's a full bucket. Yeah, I got docked with some points. I see you scratch the wood down there. That's great. That's hard pan. <laughs> you chase the hard pan. That spread wasn't too good, Matt. The swing's not working right. <laughs> Production loaded now. Yeah. of all though.
winding down here day one of the expo. Here we go, we got something going on. That is very cool. That is not what I thought it was. <laughs> That's very neat. These are the Mechalac units. I think that's how you say it anyway. So this is like a swinging telescoping loader, which is kind of cool, but not anything crazily revolutionary. But this thing is pretty neat. Look at the way the boom pivots up there. Probably get you into some weird places. And then like that one like right there, you can kind of convert it and run skid steer buckets on it, I believe, which is pretty wild. Matthew, what do you think of this unit? Well, that's what we're gonna find out. Okay. Uh, I need a, a 55 or a 40, 48, you know, something in this size range, uh, potentially, is what I'm looking for. So, I'm gonna give the old Hyundai a spin. I've been pleasantly surprised with some of their other stuff in the past. So you're saying you're gonna upgrade the fleet? Well, you know. You need the potential. It would be nice to have something reliable. The track doesn't just fall off of like it's Gold Rush or something. Oh, that's what you can't. You gotta know how to turn the key properly in these. Oh, it's because of this. That's what it is. See? There's safety in Safety for first. This. Safety like fifth. Third. Fourth. That's nice. Oh, that's solid too. Solid. No rattle in You know, when you when things get out of hand, just remember you're one flip of a switch away from I should have done that yesterday while you were doing the Shutting this show down. Just walk up <laughs> You're done. Oh, we're digging. Yeah, I got a whiff of that. It is very fast. Every time you get on one of these machines, like the controls are so touchy first. Like well, that's like yesterday when I was doing the little ground radar thing. They're like, drag the bucket across the ground smoothly. <laughs> I do it like practice run, like glass. Second one, it's like up, down, up, down, up, down. <laughs> I was like, well. Every machine just what has you, it. What your gauges look like up in there? Not bad little instrument panel. You don't need anything crazy fancy. But uh, yeah, the controls are nice and smooth. They're just different than you're used to, you know? What's that? The I like work, that. We're going down the hill there. With yeah, the, that's the, the hillbilly, you know, working on the yeah. hillside. That's pretty nice. I like that the, the pedals fold up if you're not yeah, using them. A little bit more foot yeah, I can actually fit my feet in there. Now that the door shut, not too claustrophobic. 
feels good. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's leg room in here. It's not bad. I mean, I got long legs. Yeah, it's all the way back. Really? Hmm. I like where the blade controls out on this one better. Well, maybe since you're using it, you can go ahead and grade out a nice level spot for them to operate in. Operate. Operate. Oper operate. Operator. Oh, you got a big push. Grading with Matt. Now, now go ahead and do the final back drag for that finished final pass. Maybe go forward and try it again. <laughs> One more time, you almost got it. Up, up, <laughs> up, down, up, down, up, down. Yep, yep, we got that washboard going now. Buddy. We're going to race motocross out here later. Might have to do the bucket back and forth. There you go. Big grading project here. Pat it down. Well, you got the, you, the tracks are eight inches off the ground. Well, that's how you put a... A slope on your flat project. Tell me something about grading I don't know. Okay. Which direction though? Yes. Yes. Just yes. The fact of the matter is that'll drain when it rains. Run off. It's like the pipeline work. It ain't got to be right, it's just got to look nice. That's what a lot of people don't understand is like you go from one machine to another, how much everything just kind of variates. Even, you know, same brand, different sizes. It just... Oh yeah, everything's different. Yeah. Well, you've done good. Look at that. Huh? Final pass. We're just going to put the eye level on it. It's going to take a while to build this pond, buddy. Oh, come on. I was getting fuller buckets yesterday. I was. I know. It's got the wrong pattern going on. <laughs> what is wrong with a backhoe from the 70s, sir? Are you making Nothing. fun of me? Nothing. It's the gear I got. It's paid for. It's paid for. It doesn't know you're dying. No, I'll sit back and watch. Well, it is the end of the show for me. I chose to get out of here just a little bit early because it's going to rain. Picked me up a new shop stool while I was in there. Me and Chris are going to take a little detour on the ride home to go up to Clint from CNC Equipment's place. And we're going to check out all of his toys up there and see how that guy lives. Let's hit the road. You need to head on over to Mr. Let's Dig 18's channel and tell him he needs to learn how to merge into traffic. Tell him it's that skinny pedal on the right.
that's a very unique overpass. I don't think I've ever seen one built like that. I guess we're in Columbus, Indiana. I'm gonna grab us some food before we get to Clint's and uh, I'll see you guys when we get there. Ooh, army trucks. Made it up to see Clint here at CNC Equipment. He's got all kind of goodies around here. Oh, I see some rusty stuff. That's more of my speed over there. I was right. You drive and drive and there it is. Yeah, you just keep driving and you think you're in the middle of nowhere and then all of a sudden, bam, they're there. That's a Wilton plant right there. That's a big one. Yeah, we're in the main shop. We've got steel I-beams through the floor, 8 by 8 I-beams. So is it sitting on like a concrete footing? In there here? is a concrete footing, yeah. Okay, I was about to say, because that would just push it through. Eventually. Yeah, I've got a video on my channel of doing the outside. There's That's a concrete perfect. footing, there's three pads. There's actually three pads that they're welded to, and then we kind of poured under, but there's floor heat and all the floor. Obviously, that's for the track equipment to save, salvage yeah, your concrete, yeah. save your concrete. We got a pit over there where we change the oil, work on the heavy stuff. Everybody wanted me to put in a pit. Oh, you need to have a pit in your shop. Oh, why you didn't do it? Sir, hang on, get the second one. Of it's, it I'm not going to say I don't ever want one. I just didn't want to hog up a whole bay in my shop with one. You guys take it up. Because I know you probably have panels that you can set in there to keep from having it open if you didn't want to. Yeah, but yeah. they're it's a nice pain. It's like changing rollers and stuff out too and belly pans and stuff. Yeah. Like but we, use, for leaks. we use it a lot for sure so yeah you're you do a lot more volume than i do what do you what do you think about your fan do you like it that's, that's awesome that's beyond the biggest i want to get one of those yeah i think that one's like a 22 foot wingspan but i see all that dirt on the floor over there you yep. turn that thing on wide open it's, it's gone <laughs> really it yeah it, out. Wow. it makes it bearable in some time i'd highly recommend it and is it real quiet too it is yeah now if you turn on the 100 you can hear it chopping yeah like, you'll have to wear a microphone with the fan in the video if you got up on 100 and you'll hear the fan. So. Does it start pushing up on the ceiling? No. no. <laughs> got some lift to it. it that's going to blow away his welding gas. Yeah, that's why it's not on. Snap off. Red Dog, watch your guys' channels? No, I don't think. He's I don't know him. Look at the penetrating oil over there. Oh, you got the two for cam. We had a I like that. that. It says do not separate. <laughs> you, you double, for the double Kevin, fist and <laughs> for when it's really for stuck the, on the, there. When it's really been on there. Really I think that uh, the D7 got you know, a couple of cans used on that. Yeah. Those are some pretty nice looking drill bits, but they remind me more of masonry bits That's than of awesome. metal drilling bits. Metal, so. I mean, you can. We used to actually in the machine shop uh, to drill railroad car bearings. Yeah. We would have to drill grease holes in the in the race, and we would use masonry bits to do it in a bridge port. Gotta love Grave Digger. Machine shop, plasma cutter area. We got a pretty new CNC plasma table. And fast cut. We got uh, 1941 Monarch over there. Oh wow! Still trucking. I got pretty much set up like. You can make any of your panels you need to. Yeah, now. yeah, we make all kinds of stuff. We got a 120 ton press break over here. Like, have you seen those stake pockets on that bed wall go? Yeah, yeah. we've been all of them in there at once. Oh really? All 18 of them. Well, so you just yeah, you cut it, you just cut them off. Yeah. That'd be nice. So I want to get a small press break, but eight foot sheet, quarter inch thick. Mm -hmm. so that's right Heck yeah, that's awesome. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking at your crane. This thing's cool looking. You like it? My uh, crawler crane. Bridge crane is what they call it. Span deck. I've never even heard of that. Oh yeah. It works good for bringing in all the uh, non-running. Yeah, it's picked up a few 850s in this day. So you want to what does your process work? You bring in something, you know, you haul it in or it gets hauled here. Yep. After you bought it, 
If it's like super dead, like those 850s, there's one over there that was dead and not running. We'll pull that thing up, have a truck back in there, and we'll get one side of the train. Last yep. time we used that big wrecker out front, we'll use the same thing. The poor 550H has had a rough life by the looks of it. All stoved in on the front there. Rusty, crusty, banged up, missing panels. Cut the boom clear off it. This is a prep area and it gets brought in for paint. We work on the stuff over there and get it all serviced and checked out. We ain't all the belly pans get took off the bottom or Andy washes everything, gets everything clean in there. So we'll go through and check all that stuff. But yeah, we're putting them back on now. This is dozer. I think it come out of Washington. State or PA? No, the state. It got shipped across the country. <laughs> it was just cheap over there. So. I was going to say, you must have got a deal on it to make it ship yeah. in that far. I mean, you gotta it's, all, it's just a number game. So That's a lot you got to figure into. Some of that stuff's been bringing less money over. I think you got all the California mission stuff. And oh, it is. Have you looked into getting any of the trucks that are coming out of there? Because they got they all these trucks have been coming from there. So probably half my inventory is in California. Well, I just mean like trucks in general. Like I know you specialize in the military stuff, but all the just the road tractors that they've been obsoleting, you know. Yeah. So what do you call this thing? Just to kind of break down. It's just kind of prep or They'll sand her and then take it off. But uh, usually we'll put the belly pans on over in the field. We had some of these big old D7 sitting over there and they came down for it, got brought in here. So yeah. We built all this ourselves. So. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. We've got 18 foot tall ceilings. Yeah, this one, there's a bunch of videos coming out watching you know, on this thing. We bought this in the off, we picked it up for that crane. It was Is that this. the one that you just supposed to drag it? Yeah, there? that's this tractor here. What ended up being wrong with it? Oh, there's all kinds of stuff missing. Like, <laughs> This whole manifold block was gone. The cab tilt cylinder, that's a transmission control center right there. Yeah. All that was gone, the cab tilt cylinder is gone. The problem in the military, they don't have parts stores for these things. They rob So one. they just take one and start busting down for parts, so. But, like, we've got all the glass. Wherever it's at there, they'll have one, and like some right. breaks, you they just, just The final drive them. was messed up. You've probably seen that one sitting in the shop in there. We put a new final drive on it, but it's only got like 900 hours on it, so. <laughs> This is a, the J, right? 850J. It's like Mikey's got. Yeah. Yep. You just need to get one of these. I actually took this one out because it was so far taken apart, and we I probably put 10 or 12 hours on it. Yeah. So you can see the blade was shiny. Yeah. Yep. You gonna put it green? Or you gonna put it yellow? It's your dozer. Not my dozer. Oh, I like the blade ripper. I don't think I've ever seen one of those. That's sweet. That is really cool. Still got gun mounts? It's got a pew pew holder right here. That's, That's sweet. sweet. There's a couple different programs. And this one has the RF
That's a sweet little John Deere 450C there. Skitter winch on it. She's nice. All kind of goodies tucked around here. Look at that drag line bucket, huh? We're back here in my kind of place now. This looks like the bone yard. Nice drag line bucket. Couple old Willie's Jeeps here. Not too rough. I mean, for round home, that'd be pretty good. CJ 2A here. Oh, I like a 2A. Very nice. Got some army truck parts. Bunch of side boom components here. Oh, yeah. Got some Ford truck graveyard here. All kind of track frames back here. More army truck parts. Look like 850J parts. All kinds of goodies. down pretty quick I'm sure of that just check what do you do? check that slop in the knuckle there ain't none no mine's mine's sloppy she goes ka chunk ka chunk that's about right for drag lining anyway You can't hear Clint right now, but he's saying that he did a bunch of work to this machine and there are videos of it on his channel if you guys are interested. It's got a 12 liter four cylinder in it. Big old Murphy diesel. <laughs> Can you stand on the brakes and make it come up on the nose? I've always looked at these things at the auctions and they always go for more than I think they're worth. I can bring one out to you. I bet you could. You're going to drive it. You must drive it. No, it would be on my trailer. I, I don't do that. must drive it. I don't want it if it, the hydraulic Those lines look like that. I'm talking about. Oh. Yeah. You still got a little life left in there. <laughs> my backhoe had some on there that looked like that and you'd be surprised how much longer they'll run. My backhoe, all the. I didn't realize this is part case. The whole backhoe is case. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard that. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot. Well, actually, I've seen some of these painted up with the case. They're oh, yellow, yeah. where they have safe case, case right on them. Maybe C or D backhoe on the back of them. Yeah. Oh, it's got the hose reels? What is this for now? Auxiliary hydraulics. That's pretty cool. So they come with a hydraulic chainsaw, impact, and jackhammer, and drill. What was the purpose for these things in the service? I called them a sea tractor, small emplacement excavator, just to get in tight will, places. Will this one start to at least unfold it? Uh, yeah, I would, I've never seen one actually unfold. It's sold in Australia. Oh, really? Yeah. Wasn't it sold like in February to go to Australia? Uh, probably like three years ago. Oh. So... I would love to show it to you, but my luck, I get to start up and see a blow a hose, and then I got to work on it. Yeah. She's going to stay here and help me. What about one of the well? Those, <laughs> that one's <laughs> worse. We definitely ain't right. touching we're, that we're one. To... This one's been sitting here so long, I hate to touch it. I haven't started up and looking at the trigger. I don't need more work. But they are cool. They're very cool. They're very unique. Very yeah, there we go. There's an ID tag right there. It says it's a case. You go on my channel, you can see what big and stick it is. Okay. Watch, watch it dig. <laughs> yeah, you were over there, like. Big old Oshkoshes are cool. 
I missed one of these at our auction for 2500 bucks. it went for. I was so mad. Well, they got some room in here, huh? My people to read the writing. Yeah, my people told me what it says. It's nothing bad. Okay. Your people. Yeah. Almost two years ago, it needed the fuel drain. <laughs> Drop a comment down below if you know what that stuff says there. Pretty neat trucks, though. I mean, that hood, I'm 6'2", and that hood's probably another foot and a half over my head, at least. 8V92 Detroit. 8V92, that thing's got to sound good. Yeah. Why are we all walking past this thing? This thing's sweet. Bought the whole truck for a wiring harness? And we've got a monster truck sitting here and we're not doing anything with it? We were thinking about putting this axle on the back of the shorty truck one day. That would be cool. These guys look very familiar. I got that Halverson. I, mean, I never think I'm saying that right. Halverson. Halverson. Yeah, this is a 150 like you got. Yeah, this is the same one that I have at the house there. And there's a 120 and a 140. So Clint's got you covered up if you uh, if you like these things. I think that thing's pretty slick. For a one-man show, saves your back a lot of work. All these crates here. All of them are brand new Jeep tubs. So if you're looking for a crate tub for your Jeep project, she's all rotted out. Clint's got you covered up. Another rare truck, Super Duty 4 Dub. It's got 21,000 miles on it. That is a cool service truck, that's for sure. Did you paint it this way or was this actually a military spec? It's baby blue. Okay. It's a police dive truck. Scuba truck. You ever get rid of that? That is cool. Yeah. Can I fire it up? Yeah, but it's a glow plug fire. Yeah. We had the gas pedal one time and set it up on high idle. It's straight pipe, of course. Oh. This is a clean old truck here. Look at that baby blue. Sounds good. Give me one day. Oh yeah, that's my speed right there. How dare you? How dare you? I might have turned the screw in a little bit more. No. No, I saw that as soon as you hit it. You just gotta watch that power meter over there. That's all that matters. That is a cool truck. Well, Clint picked himself up a wheel horse about the same time I got that one I did the video on, but I actually like his better. That's a Raider 14. It's a one owner. One, one owner. owner. 1973. That's cool. I believe there's enough room left. It's in really good shape. Look, you have to still have a sticker on the side of the deck where you rub everything. What are the chances that's going to be there more than a week? I think it might be right. It might be. Well, we got to do a wheel at start on that. Is the battery any good? It should be. Well, we got all the chokage. Kohler K-Series, it'll run. Oh. Yeah. 
either out of gas or it needs a carburetor clean. I didn't tell you. That was full choke. Oh. As soon as I started to bring it down, it was stolen. Clint's got quite the selection of Jeep parts. Got everything in here. More bodies tucked in here. All the windshield frames. All the hoods. Seat frames, my goodness. There's a whole tub right there. Unbelievable. Safety third. Oh boy. Yeah. Vampires in here. Oh, I bet as soon as he goes over this edge, I'm going flying. He must really trust me because, like, I don't know why I do. Have you ever run one of these before? No. Oh, it's literally going to go right through me. The good thing is. You're doing good so far. Yeah, yeah don't, don't tell him where the throttle is. I'm oh, doing all right. The hydraulic looks empty. Oh no, that's fuel, never mind. Hydraulic's good, fuel's empty. Oh, we're gonna go up? Alright, come on. That's pretty nice, really. I don't know if it's gonna be self leveling coming back down, though. Is it? No, no, keep curling me up a little. Out of all the ones I've seen, that does look like a pretty nice unit. Look at all the videos on their website how to repair all the major things, the pump, valve, like the right to repair the old one. They're That's very, cool. very simple. Got a Kubota diesel in it. Yeah, I can hear that. It sounds good. It looks pretty quick. They're built nice. It looks balanced too. A lot of the ones you see kind of don't look like they're very stable. Uh, in the place, they're pretty good. Yeah, I, I think. These things are probably really handy for certain people in certain trades. Put a snowplow on that thing, it'd be a heck of a little snowplow unit for sidewalks and stuff. We got Harley Race, Crumple Cross Bucket. Now you gotta sell it as a demo. Yeah. Yeah, it was brand new. Well, I think we finished up our little walk around here and checking out Clint's place. He's got a very impressive setup here and he can get you hooked up on the Jeep parts or the army truck parts or the equipment of your needs. So check him out. He's got a pretty sweet YouTube channel too where he covers bringing in all this stuff and working on it and selling it to you guys. So Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for having us. Yep.